Amen. Thank you all so much. I'm going to ask you to turn in your Bibles to John chapter 14. John chapter 14. And while you're doing that, uh, I'm going to give just a couple of pleas real quick. I, I, I told you last week about VBS, and I'm not going to try to beg anybody to... to, to uh, you've made your decisions, and, and we're going to go with that. But uh, if there's a child in your life, you know, I heard Aubrey you know, say, if there's somebody here that you think they would enjoy being here, get them here. Uh, I'm going to kind of rephrase that. I, let me tell you, if you got a child in your life, they will enjoy being here. You just need to get them here. Um, I, I, I remember my children uh, loved VBS. This was their favorite time of year. We would take them to different VBSs all over town. Uh, you know, it's free babysitting uh, for, uh, but uh, no, they look forward to it. They they really did. And you probably think, well, you know, you got preacher's kids. They were probably looking at getting into the Word and all that. No, not my kids, man. My kids were looking forward to playing and having snacks, just like every other kid. Uh, and they enjoyed being at VBS. I, some of my favorite memories are uh, watching them play at VBS. So uh, if you've got a child, a grandchild, a neighbor kid in your life, uh, uh, you get them here uh, sometime this week, and uh, I think they will they will be blessed, and you will be blessed uh, by having them here. Uh, that, and uh, let me just invite you to be in your place next week. I'm so excited, yet sorry that I can't be here, uh, that Terry Jackson is going to be here with you. I, uh, I had a chance to give you just a, just a quick uh, testimony when he was here with us a few weeks ago. Uh, Terry, Jack, Terry Jackson got more biblical wisdom in his little finger than I'll ever have in my entire body. He has taught me so much over the years. I really encourage you to be here next week, not only to be a blessing to him, but to receive a blessing. I promise, if you show up next week, you will not be sorry that you showed up. I guarantee you, you will learn uh, something next week. So be in your place next week. I'm, I'm going to pray that Miss Kay can sing something, because, boy, you, you know, if you think Terry's good, um, uh, you know, he ain't the best half of that marriage, I can promise you that. Um, so I, I hope you get to hear Miss Kay. We'll see, we'll see what, what happens there. But uh, be in your place uh, next week. I'll miss being with you, uh, but be in your place uh, next week. We're in John chapter 14 uh, this morning, and, and there's maybe if you ask me what my favorite piece of Scripture is, I would go to John chapter. There's a lot in chapter 14 of the book of John. But those, those first three verses are, are so special. I believe if I was ever going to be on a deserted island and they would only let me take one piece of Scripture with me, I would take uh, John chapter 14. But recently, I was able to see John chapter 14, at least those first few verses, in a whole new way that I had never uh, seen it before. You know, I don't know if you've figured this out yet, over the years of studying Scripture, whatever you think you know, there's always something more. 